yesterday had the opportunity, it was at my auntie's funeral on my wife's side, and we had it outside, and it was hot out there, I think 101 degrees. Yeah. And I said to myself, if hell is hotter than this, all right, all right. I definitely do not want to go. All right. You got to be determined that, thank God for Soraka. I called my baby, she's grown now, but Amen. Thank God for uh, thank God for Auntie and Kizzy and Amen. Olivia, the little baby. Amen. Cal, God bless all of you and Chelsea. Praise God. Praise God for His goodness and His mercy on today. Happy birthday to Chelsea on today. We just thank God for what God is on today. Thank God for being so good and so. Carla, amen, I'm sorry, Sister Carla, amen, I'm almost 60, so I can get away with that, praise the Lord, I, I'm known to give people names, so I guess, <laughs> amen, I want to um, go to the Word of God uh, for a few moments on today, I, I want to tell you that um, if whatever you're doing, whatever you're doing in your life, it's time to get back to God's business. Yes, it is. Can I, can I be real with that? It's time to get back to God's business. Yeah. Had a wonderful, Superintendent Haynes did a wonderful job this morning of teaching uh, the Sunday school lesson. And what a phenomenal Sunday school lesson on yeah. this morning. Yeah. Uh, uh, listen, saints of God, it, it's righteousness. Y'all hear what yeah. I'm saying? That's right. Uh, righteousness exalted the nation. But sin is a reproach to any man. Praise the Lord. It's time to get back to the realness of, of doing what we need to do. Praise the Lord. I, I want to talk about uh, this morning. I'm going to read the scripture first of all. Uh, but I have something I want to put on your mind. And maybe you say, well, Pastor, you, you didn't tune up. I don't know if I will or not this morning. But um, the word of the Lord is found this morning in the book of Galatians. Chapter 2, 1 verse, verse 20. Chapter 2, verse 20. And it simply says this, that I am crucified with Christ. Mm -hmm. Nevertheless, I live. Mm -hmm. Yet not I, but, Christ. but Christ liveth in me. And the life which I now live in the flesh, uh -huh. I live by the faith of the Son of God who loved me and gave his self for me. I am crucified with Christ. Nevertheless, I live. Yet not I. It's not I. But Christ liveth in me. And the life which I now live in the flesh, I live by the faith of the Son of God who loved me and gave himself for me. Yeah. Now before you sit down, I just want you to turn to your neighbor, don't touch them, but turn to them, mm -hmm. and ask them, what does your image look like? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Turn, somebody turn, turn to the other side, turn to the other side, and ask them, what does your image look like? Yeah, yeah. You may be seated. What does your image look like? What do you what do you pattern your life after? I know that all that that has gone on and so much has gone on and missionary mothers and things have happened in our lives and we've had tragedies and we've had deaths and we've had yeah, sickness yeah. and oh, we've had God. disease. But what does your image look like? You know, we spend so much time. And I know I'm in the house. We spend so much time uh, perfecting how we look. All right, all right. Y'all, y'all, I lost somebody. I lost somebody. We spend so much time perfecting how we look. We go to the nail shop and uh -huh. to the beauty shop and well. we perfect, try to perfect of how we look. But isn't it, it's going to be a shame that we going to walk out the door looking good. Yeah. Oh my God! But the place we're going to won't be good. I, I lost somebody in the house. We're going to walk out the door looking good, 
but the place we're going won't be good. And so what does our, what does our image look like? Uh, the YPWW, uh, uh, Lady Hayes used to say, let our lives be the mirror that's it, that's it. that reflects, how, let, let it be the image that reflects the mirror how, of Christ Jesus. Let our lives be the image how, that reflects the mirror of Jesus Christ, saints of God. That's used to be how YPWW say. And we used to say that so much. How, let our lives, how? Be the mirror, be the mirror yes. that reflects the image of Christ. And so when we look in the mirror, what does our image look like? All right, all right. Well, Paul had an image. Y'all remember Paul, don't you? But at the time, his name was Saul. And Saul was persecuting. God bless you, Lady Brenda. We Saul was persecuting the saints. And so God, one day on the road to Damascus, shined the light on Saul and said, Saul, Saul, why persecuted thou me? Yes. It's hard to kick against the bricks. What does our image look like during this pandemic, during this coronavirus, during this Delta virus, during Afghanistan, and, and then they're coming over? What does our image look like? Some of us have gotten slack and we've gotten slowful in what we do. We pay more attention to things that are no concern than we pay to God. Oh, bless the name of the Lord. We get more involved in secular things than the things of God. Oh, bless the name of the Lord. Should have to beg for all that's happened, all that's went on. Should have to beg nobody to come up in the house of God. Oh, bless the name of the Lord. Should have to beg nobody to clap their hands. Oh, clap your hands. Oh, here it is. Here it is. How many of us? How many of us in here? How many of us on Facebook have lost a loved one this this year? Or last year? Lost the loved one. And so, because we lost the loved one, every time we think about the goodness of God, you're breathing, you wake up breathing, you're still here. You're not in the hospital. You're not on a breathing tube. Oh, bless the name of the Lord. You're not, you don't have a feeding tube in your stomach. And yet, we got to beg you to praise God. What does your image look like? Lord, have mercy. What does your image look like? Oh, bless the name of the Lord. Who are you? Who are you? Touch, touch yourself. Touch yourself. Touch yourself. They say, who am I? Who am I? Who am I? My God. How do I look in the sight of God? I know in the morning we get in the mirror. We check ourselves out. We got to make sure our hair right. We got to make sure our face right. We got to make sure our lipstick is the right color. We got to make sure our shoes are the right color. To match our dress and match our suit. But how? I hear the Lord say, Lily said, I have somewhat against thee. Because you left your first love. He says to us, repent. Then he don't say just repent, but he says, repent and do your first works over again. And he says, if you don't repent, I'll come quickly and remove the candlestick. Oh, bless the name of the Lord. Well, what is the candlestick? The candlestick is the liberty that God has given you. Uh, the liberty of living life. Uh, the liberty of enjoying life. Uh, the liberty of getting up every morning. Uh, the liberty of giving him praise every morning. Shouldn't nobody have to remind you to give God praise. Uh, we shouldn't go all day and then don't give God praise. Uh, and all of a sudden at the night time, we think about God and we say, oh, God, thank you for my life. Some of us do the children's prayer. I lay me down to sleep. I pray the Lord my soul to keep. If I should awake before I die, I pray the Lord my soul to take. 
But your image is not the image of Christ. Your image does not look like Christ. You come to church, you got an attitude. You come to church, you're mad at everybody. Because your house ain't right. And we don't live in your house. We don't live on your street. And you come to church with an attitude. You come to church. Your mouth, the Lord Jesus, and believe in your heart. 
about that. His affliction was upon his body. But Paul said, I kept the faith. Lord, have mercy. There were men who were against Paul. They tried to kill him. But Paul said, I kept the faith. I got news for you. I said, have no other God before me. Whatever you're doing, listen. I, I tell my children, I tell my wife, I say to, to them, listen, y'all, listen, we got to do better. We got to do better. We got to do better. This is God's time. And I don't, I, I, listen, I don't know about you, but I don't like being in the back of the line. Anybody like being in the back of the line? You do everything, you put everything before God. Some of us get to our job on time. Uh, listen, I, I, I'm sorry. I, I'm sorry. I'm sorry if you offended you. We get to our job on time. We get, we get to the store on time. We go out to eat. We make appointments to go eat. 7.30. We're there at 7.15. Watch out, man. Yeah, y'all looking at me funny. Some of us even got, got time set in the morning when we drink our coffee. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We make a schedule for all week, but we don't make a schedule for God. What does your image look like? I, I know I'm in the house. Y'all y'all, y'all, forgive me. You, you want to beat me over the head, that's fine. Listen, listen. We got all, we got so, some of us got so much. Our money is right. Vehicles in our yard. House fixed up. Some house is paid for. And yet, we are not satisfied. Yeah. That, I'm in the Bible right now. Yeah. Huh? Nothing, nothing. I, I'm sorry, Lady Haynes, but yeah. I, I got to go back to the scripture. They say the summer has passed. Uh -huh. The winter has gone. And yet, we are not saved. We are not saved. Huh? Now, some of us, some, they, some people, yeah. but I don't care how much God give us, Mr. Dear, sir, it's just not enough. God bless us with a thousand on Monday. We tell God, God bless him with two thousand, ten thousand on Tuesday. We're just not satisfied. Huh? We haven't even thanked him for the thousand, Sirach. Sirach. And, and we're asking God already, God, I need this. Huh? God bless you with a good job. You go to the job and do what you want to do. Y'all looking at me funny. Huh? Because Sandy, we do what we want to do. God, I'm grown. Now nobody tell me what to do. But I mean, no, you're supposed to work unto man as unto God. That's Bible, y'all. I'm sorry. That's Bible. Yeah, that, that's the word. Huh? We come. Somebody got to tell you. Listen, I, I need I need to say this, Sister Brenda, and some of y'all might not like it. But I find myself even on the prayer line having the same people to pray. You know why? Because they're willing. Yes. They're willing. But every person on the prayer line 
should never fight praying. Leading prayer. Talking to God. Hey, hey, listen, you're talking to God. You ain't talking to people. Talking to God. Hallelujah. And you say, well, I, I, don't, I don't pray like them. Listen, as long as your prayer is earnest, that's all that God is concerned about. Our time. Maybe you don't tune up when you pray. Maybe you don't get yours with a tune. Because see, here's the thing about God. God does not have a hearing problem. We don't have to holler at God to get his attention. I know y'all won't say holler at your boy, but you don't have to holler at God. God hears even a whisper. Yes, he does. I know I'm in the house now. My God's a great. I, I feel this thing. I'm, I'm in the house now, baby. God hears them call a whisper.
I'm sorry, y'all, but that thing touched and stirred me. Listen. Sunday school lesson this morning, let us know, saints of God. We need to bring God our first fruits. That's it, that's it, huh? that's it. Our first fruit. You want to know why you're not blessed? Why you're not any farther in life than you need to? And you know what? And you say, Pastor, you're going to talk about money. No, I'm not even talking about money. I'm talking about first fruit. I'm talking about in the morning. Do you give God two hours and 40 minutes a day of your time? 24 hours in a day. I don't care whether you break it up or what, 20 minutes here, 20 minutes, I don't care what you do, but do you give God two, two hours and 40 minutes a day of your time? How many of us stay in the word of God? How many of us drive down the road and, and while we're driving down the road, we listen to our praise and all of a sudden the anointing come over us and we got to pull at the, they blowing us at us at the red light, but they don't know the, the, what's in me right now. They don't know what I'm feeling right now. They don't know why the tears are flowing down my eyes because the song that's being played has touched my heart. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Hallelujah. Yes, sir. What's your image like? I, I, I refuse, I refuse to go home. I, 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 and I want to say this, I refuse to go home to my wife and it's turmoil in my house. Y'all hear what I'm saying? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Hallelujah. I don't care how much you pay for that house. I refuse to go home and argue every day with my wife. The food don't even taste good, men and women of God, when you got arguments going on in the house. Y'all hear what I'm saying? Disagreements going on. I'm the man. She know you the man. Right. Be the man when that light bill is due. Be the man when that gas bill is due. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I know what you're saying right now. How can two walk together except they be agreed? We agreed that you need to pay the light bill. We agreed that you need to pay the condo. We have agreed. Huh? What does your image look like? Had a funeral yesterday. And one of my friends, good friend, Pastor Paul Robinson, had a funeral. Young man played the organ for him. Now, at 30 something years old, we're leaving his people of God. We're leaving him. And we're not changing our image. We're not changing who we are. 